When temperatures drop, pipes carrying liquids are susceptible to freezing, resulting in slow flow viscosity issues or even worse. Your pipes can crack or burst, resulting in costly repairs, property damage, and downtime. A well-designed heat tray system not only protects pipes and vessels from expensive freeze-related damage, it can also ensure a constant temperature is maintained in industrial applications where even the slightest heat loss can cause viscosity and flow issues. So let's take a look at a typical heat tray system. Heating cable is attached to the surface of the pipe using high temperature heat trace tape. The cable is connected to its power source through either a power connection box or if your system requires greater temperature control and accuracy, a heat trace digital thermostat can accommodate those power connections while at the same time monitoring and controlling temperatures. If there's a junction in the pipe that must be heated, a multiple entry connection box should be used to split the heating cable run. And wherever there's going to be a termination in the heating cable, be sure to seal and terminate each cable run using an above insulation cable end seal. An optional signal light can be added to the end seal as well, so the technicians can tell at a glance if the system is powered on or if there's a power outage or fault in the heating cable run. Next, the pipes in the heat cable are covered in thermal insulation to further protect the system from outside heat loss. And don't forget that heat trace caution labels should be fixed to the outside of the insulation every 10 feet to warn individuals, maintenance crews, and emergency workers that the cable inside may be hot and have electrical current running through it. Omega's heat trace solution can be configured to suit many applications. Still have questions? We have answers. Call or chat online at omega.com to find out more about our heat trace solutions.